Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to reprocess all of your shot GNSS points using a static position at the base. So what I've done to begin here is you can see I've got a whole bunch of points that somebody shot, and I'm gonna be selecting my base point, telling it these are your actual coordinates, and I want you to reprocess based on that information. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I'm gonna to head to the bottom left corner where my plumb bob icon is, and I'm gonna open up my survey tools, GNSS local transformation. And what I'm gonna do here is you can see I already have a modify control option. If you don't see that modify control option, what you're going to do is you're gonna to head to modify parameters, and you're gonna make sure your method is set to similarity. And when you hit okay, you're going to see that modify control option and when I select that I'm going to get the option to add control. You can see I have no control points in this project which is ideally how you're going to want to do it if you're using this method and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add control in my control calculation I'm going to leave the apply horizontal and vertical options selected and, and what I'm first going to do is I'm going to select the position of my base. So I'm going to scroll down to GNSS control here and click on select existing. In my case I know 0.1 is my base position so I'm going to click on select here and you're going to see I now have some lat long and height of my geodetic position and if I scroll back up here you're going to see that I have now the option enter a northing easting and elevation and what I'm going to do is I'm going to reprocess this on a point based on our office here. So what I'm going to do is you can see here I'm going to bring over my PPP report and if you have a similar Opus 1 uh, you can use that as well. In my case I'm just using CSRS PPP and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here and you can see I've got some northing and eastings just where I highlighted with my mouse there. So I'm going to enter that into my local control option here. So let me just quickly enter all that information. And once I have that entered, I'm gonna hit OK. It's gonna bring me back to my transformation control menu. You can see I now have the point with my local northing that I've entered and my geodetic coordinates if I scroll over there, but I'm gonna hit OK. It's gonna bring me back to that main GNSS local transformation menu. And now what I'm gonna to do to reprocess all my data is click on adjust GNSS points. And it's gonna ask me, do you want to update all your measured points with the current transformation parameters? This will also adjust any terrestrial observation based on GNSS observed points. And I'm going to select, yes, I do want to do that. And what that's gonna do is it's going to load my raw file and start calculating all those points. Now there's something like 50,000 points in this project, so it's not going to load particularly quickly. But once it's done calculating all those points, your points will be shifted based on that new calculation. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is how you use the static file at the base to reprocess all of your data. And if you have a moment, I will please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on this YouTube channel or the surveying space in general, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark dot ca